Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Today we're going to be doing a, another Shop My Stash. So I have all the items that were in my January rotation here. I'm going to put them back into my now reorganized collection and pull some new things to play with in the month of February and just share with you some of my thoughts on these last few items. So why don't we just hop on into it? Like I said, my collection is now reorganized. It looks totally different than it did in my last Shop My Stash video, and I'm really happy with how it is so far. So I've reorganized this top drawer to be more base products. So I do have one powder to put back into my collection for this month. This is the Derma E Sun Protection Mineral Powder SPF 30. I didn't use this near enough. I'm going to be entirely honest. I need to reach for it more, but I think I'm going to be more inclined to use it come the more summery months. This does expire in July, but I'm thinking if I get to it around like end of April, beginning of May, like in the spring and early summer, I should be able to finish it off then. I'm not really inclined to reach for it now. So I'm gonna pop that back in. And then this is like full to the capacity as well. So we'll see if I can fit everything back in. But this is the Hangover 3-in-1 Spray from Too Faced. It's basically done, so I'm not going to be putting this back into my collection. I think I'm going to use it maybe one or two more times, and then it'll be an empty, which is great. You can't even hear anything in here, but it does spray a little bit more. But it should be done within this week for sure. I also had the Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 185. This I do enjoy, I reached for it a lot. I basically used it almost exclusively this past month and really did enjoy the way it looks on my under eyes. It's very hydrating, very comfortable, but I am ready to put it back into my collection and reach for something else in its place. And the last item that belongs, actually no, I'm, I just lied. This is one of the last few items that belongs back in here. This is the NYX Born to Glow Foundation. I loved mixing this. this mixed with the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue was so nice. I really enjoyed this combination this past month. As you can tell, I'm finally nearly done my Natural 05 Tinted Moisturizer. This technically does expire at the end of this month or, well, today's the first that I'm filming this. So last month it did technically expire. I really want to try to finish this up. So I've been comboing these two together and I'm just going to pull this back out actually because it's gotta be nearly done. Like it has to, has to be nearly done. So I'm going to just pull this out right away preemptively. And now with this new reorganization, the brow products live up here alongside all of these products. So I am gonna put my Essence Make Me Brow back into the drawers. I do enjoy this, I like it, but I'm ready to put it back. I, I'm glad that I had a chance to reach for it this past month, but I do actually want to keep this. This is the ABH Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ash Brown. I got some really great use out of it this past month. I accidentally left the lid off one night though, so it is getting a little bit more dry. So I just wanna keep this in my priority. So I'm gonna keep it in the shop my stash this month. I really have been enjoying the way that my brows look a little bit more structured lately, which is so weird because for a long time, I was loving a very undone brow look, and now I'm liking a little bit more structure, maybe because I've been kind of growing out my brows. They look a little bit more full. This helps to just make them look a little bit more put together. So I'm gonna keep this in. And I do wanna reach for this. This I was sent from Look Fantastic. I'll have my code down in the description box if you're interested in trying anything from Look Fantastic, but this is something that they did send me recently. I've not yet opened it. As you can see, this is the Control Freak Eyebrow Gel in the shade Clear. This is by NYX. I'm really excited to give this a try, so I'm not going to wait to finish up any of my other brow gels as much as that probably would be the best plan of attack. I really want to reach for this, and I think it would be great with the brow pomade, so I'm going to pull this out and give it a try so that I can give you guys a review in a few weeks time. I, I was a little chaotic with this, but I'm going to pull this in as well. This I did also receive from Look Fantastic. This is the Oma Beauty Say What Foundation. You will see on Friday or Saturday rather of this week, a first impressions of this, but I'm going to put this to the test more thoroughly in the rest of this month. So I am super excited for this. I'm going to be putting it a little bit more thoroughly to the test so that I can give you guys some reviews a little bit later on in the month or early March on these products and more. So for concealer, I think I want to pull this. This shade is a little too deep for me right now, but I am working on my Catrice concealer in my Partners in Cream Project Pan, and I think that this would just pair very well with it. It's a little bit more 
hydrating and it's definitely a little bit too deep for me right now. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is the satin finish one and I have it in light sand. And I think just comboing this with that Catrice one that I'm focusing on will keep this from looking maybe a touch too dewy and it will like lighten up the shade. So I just think this would be a great product to roll in for the time being and I'm, I really do enjoy this. I loved this in the summer but I haven't yet used this for the colder months and I'm really looking forward to reaching for this more. I'm also going to pull this. I freaking love this primer and having it not in my last rotation, I gotta say I was missing it and I did reach for it even though it wasn't something I was technically like focusing on as a Shop My Stash product. But this is the Ulla Hendrickson Banana Bright Face Primer. I freaking love it and it does contain vitamin C so I do think that it's something that I have to reach for and try to use up sooner rather than later because vitamin C doesn't tend to stay very stable. So I want to prioritize this for sure and get some really good use out of this in the coming month. I think I also want to pull this. I have two of these milk little primer samples and it's just is a little bit ridiculous. I think I'm gonna pull both of these. No, I'm just gonna pull one just to give it a try. I'm gonna pull just this one and give it a shot, see how it goes. Um, it might actually pair really nicely with that Alma Beauty foundation. We will see. I'm looking forward to giving that a try though. And I think that will be it for primers for this month. As for powder, I do think I need a powder and they're kind of tucked here at the back. I haven't really been loving setting my entire face. And so I want to play around with this as an under eye setting powder. This is the Lawless, Lawless Seal the Deal Loose Setting Powder. This is the classic translucent. As you can see, I actually have used a fair amount of this. I haven't had the best experience with this, if I'm honest. I feel like it isn't the most finely milled and it can look a little heavy on the under eyes, but I really wanna put it to the test. And although I feel like I just pulled a ton of products, I'm gonna pull this as well. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer. I haven't used this in a hot minute because I've been really focusing on my bare minerals and I want to try this out again. This shade is great for me at this time of year also. So. I'm really looking forward to reaching for this and getting to know this product a little bit better. I have been neglecting it for quite some time. And let's just hop on into the next drawer. So next let's hop into this reorganized cheek and lip kind of situation. So we have all of my colored cheek products. So like bronzer, highlight, and blush kind of all within here. And then all of my lip products and some cream cheek products in here as well. So we're gonna be putting back some products. It is like perfectly snug in here, so uh, I'm definitely gonna have to rotate things, but this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, which I had in my last rotation. I did expand the pan a little bit on this. I really enjoy this bronzer so, so much. It's so unfortunate that Physician's Formula isn't cruelty-free and that the packaging is always bunk on this, like it doesn't clasp anymore. So I want to kind of prioritize this later on this year, but I'm gonna put it away just so I can focus on something else for the coming month, but I really do enjoy that bronzer quite a lot. We're also gonna be putting away this gorgeous little palette. This is the Aether Beauty, um, oops, uh, Crystal Charge Cheek Product palette in the shade Rose Quartz. Oh my God, I love this. I've been enjoying this palette so, so, so much. These two products here, this one is really pretty too, but these two are just, Ugh, dreamy. I've been really, really enjoying this this past month. I've worn it a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm gonna put that back. And then I had this in my last rotation. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector uh, Spotlight. So this is the liquid version in the shade Opal. And I didn't use this near as much as I had anticipated, if I'm honest, but I do really enjoy this. I think I'm gonna keep this in for another rotation because I feel like you know, I'm close to getting this used up. There's no doubt about that. So I wanna keep it in for my next rotation as well. And as for lip products going back, I have the Buxom sample. I had just this shade Brandy. You know what? I finished off these two. So I'm just gonna finish this up this month, actually. I'm gonna keep this in my rotation for next month. And then I had the ColourPop 0 Liquid Lipstick. This is the Ultra Satin Lip. Loved this, wore this a fair amount of times actually, and I'm so happy I did. It's such a beautiful shade. And then I had this from Madame Glam. This is the Velvet Lipstick in the shade Fig. I had this in my last rotation and really did enjoy wearing it as well. It's much more vibrant than I had remembered, so it was kind of a fun little reminder and 
It felt like a new product in my collection almost because I hadn't remembered it the way that it does function. But I do want to pull some new products for my next rotation out of here as well. So what shall I pull? Well, you know what? Of course, of course, of course, I'm going to pull this newest product here. This is, again, something that I was sent from Look Fantastic, which I'm very, very, very grateful for. This is the Alma Beauty Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Duo Stick in the shade Fair Lady. It is so stunning, and I can't wait to get to know this product a little bit better in this coming month. So definitely had to have this in the rotation. I do have a fair amount of cheek products in Project Pans at the moment, but I do want to pull something just for a little bit of fun. Um, I think I'm going to pull this, this bronzer right here. This is the Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer in the shade Golden Days. This is maybe a bit more red than I would like at this time of year, but I'm going to give it a try, see how it goes. Maybe pair it with some more illuminating bronzy products from my e.l.f. illuminating palette, which is in my 30 by 30 project pan. And I do think that this is going to be a lot of fun to play around with. It's been a while since I last reached for it, to be honest. I'm feeling very compelled to reach for this lip product. I think I reached for this in December and I just loved it so much. This is the Bite Honeycomb Lipstick. It's just an absolute favorite of mine. This shade is just so pretty. I love this brown pinky nude kind of shade, like a it's more like a beige kind of color, like a deep beige. It's so pretty. I, yeah, I want to integrate this into some looks over this coming month for sure. I absolutely adore this. I do want to pull a highlighter and this is one that I really want to start to prioritize a little bit. I want to get rid of some of my ColourPop products for sure in the coming years. And so this is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Flexitarian. It is so icy, so blingy, and I think it would be a lot of fun to play with now that I have like my fairest skin. You know what I mean? I'm not at my most tan like I would be in a few months time potentially. So I want to reach for this and I think this would be a great base underneath of some of the softer highlighting products that I'm working on in other project pans. I used to adore this like love it because it is so blinding, but my preferences have definitely changed. So I wanna see if this is something that really suits my taste these days. I don't wanna overwhelm myself with lip products, but I do feel compelled to reach for this. It's been a while since I last used it. This is the Bare Minerals. Um, I can't remember what this line is called, if I'm honest, but this is in the shade Swag. This is such a pretty light mauve kind of tone, and it's something that I haven't reached for in a long time. Like, look at that color. I haven't used it in quite some time, so I definitely want to prioritize this and just kind of get to know it again. Like I'm, I really do enjoy shopping my stash for literally that reason to like kind of fall back in love with the products that I already have. So I feel like there's a ton of products already like in my next rotation, but I feel like I want to pull something else from here. But I'm going to just hold off and we're going to move on to the next drawer and pull some eyeshadow products. Alrighty, and here we go into the very last drawer, which is again a reorganized drawer as they all are. This is my eye product drawer. So we do have to put a few items away. Oh, and you can see in the viewfinder. I stuck these tubs down, like even in the top drawer up here with my foundations. I stuck these down with some sticky tack just to keep them exactly in place. Last rotation I had this NYX. This is the slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme shine eyeliner in the shade golden bronze. I had this in my last rotation and I freaking loved it. It went with so many of the shadows I'm about to share with you that I had in my last rotation. It was so pretty. I, I adore that eyeliner. Like it might be my favorite eyeliner ever because it's really brightening, but also a little bit grungy and I don't know, it's just a really, really beautiful shade. But the shadows, like the palettes that I had in my last rotation were this one right here. This is my newest eyeshadow palette. This is the At For Sight Raw Beauty Christie and ColourPop collaboration. I've now used all of these shadows at least once, which is great. Many of them I've used multiple, multiple times and I love the formula on this for sure. This is a beautiful, beautiful formula, nice, soft, blendable mattes and I was really impressed with it, but I did have, sorry, I'm just reaching behind me. I did have my depotted ColourPop singles in this last rotation as well. And I did notice some similarities to shades that were in other palettes from ColourPop in the past, like this shade right here, these two browns right here, they're very similar to 
some of the ones in here. So I do feel like um, I didn't necessarily need this palette. Like you can see, there's a lot of similarities to previous ColourPop palettes. Like the purple here is very similar, this tealy color. Yeah, definitely didn't need it, but I was generously sent this from Libby. So I am very, very thankful for it. And it is a very great curated selection of shades. So I'm not mad at it. I really did enjoy it. And I really did enjoy reaching for this. I actually ended up hitting pan in one of these shades. I'd like to expand the pan and kind of get some more use out of these palette or, well, they are three palettes, but these shadows as well. But I am gonna put it back for now. I'm, I'm ready to move on for a moment. Also in my last rotation, I had the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette. She is just heaven on earth, I swear. I do wanna pull some comparable shades to these, but just in different formulas, just to have a play around in my own collection. Now, when I was organizing this, I don't think I considered this long palette, so <laughs> where am I gonna put this? I'm just gonna tuck it here. I'm never gonna forget about it, even though it's like totally hidden. I won't forget about that palette because I freaking love it. And the last palette I had in my last rotation and the previous one to that is the Fenty Beauty Galaxy palette. Oh my God, these shades are just so beautiful. I fall more in love with this palette as every single day goes by, I swear. Like every time I reach for this, I, I love it more than the last time I reached for it. So I'm so happy that this is still a part of my collection. I'm so happy that this is something that I finally started really integrating into looks. I've, I've been really enjoying it so, so much. But now we get to play around and pull some new things into the next rotation, which I am so stoked for. I have been kind of thinking about which palettes I want to reach for, and I know I want to reach into this one. I've had it in a Shop My Stash previously, but you know what? It's just something I want to get to know even more and more and more. So this is the Metropolis palette by Natasha Denona. It's just beautiful neutrals mixed with some of those greens, like I said. And I just think this is gonna go so well with my current taste. I've been loving these like super metallic neutrals as like my go-to kind of look lately. And then these greens are just honestly my forever vibe. So I need to reach for this palette again. And then I've been thinking I want to get to know this palette a little bit better. I do really, really enjoy this palette, but I have been neglecting it over the past few months. This is the Alma Beauty Black Magic Allure palette. Oh my God. Oh my God. Again, those greens and delicious mattes. These are very comparable shades to what's in the At Foresight palette as well. So I'm gonna get that same kind of vibe, but just playing with different formulas and different textures for my collection. And this, I'm just so excited to play with again. And seeing as it is Valentine's Day this month, I do want to pull this. I feel like it's like an ob obligatory kind of uh, product to pull in, but I do think actually some of these shades are gonna pair really cool with the ColourPop Telepathy, which is in my 30 by 30. I do want to play with these more unexpected color pairings just for the heck of it. And I'm super close to hitting pan on Golden Ochre. So maybe when I come back around at the beginning of March, we will see a little pan added to this palette, which would be great because this is getting kind of old. I think this is uh, four years, four or five years old now. I think I'll pull this green. This is the Annabelle Waterline Matte in the shade Khaki. I think this would just be great to pair with the Metropolis as well as the Oma Beauty palette. And I do wanna pull this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Color Chameleon Amber Haze for Brown Eyes. This is a shadow stick, but I think I wanna play around with it as more of like a waterline liner. I don't know that it'll work per se because this is quite a chubby pencil but I know this is just gonna go totally unused in my collection if I don't figure out a way to integrate it into looks sooner rather than later. So I do want to play around with this this coming month. And otherwise, I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. I think three palettes is good. Do I want a fourth palette? And I'm looking at what I have and I feel like it's more than enough, but I do wanna pull this too because I have added eight new singles to my collection. I did purchase these at the beginning of December. They're from Makeup Geek. There's like a handful of them. They're kind of throughout the palette here, but um, I haven't really had a chance to play around with most of them. I've really only used Limelight and Peach Smoothie so far. So I wanna play with them not only independently, but collectively with this palette and all of my other palettes. I just really wanna to get to know all of the shadows that I have in this singles palette really well. And maybe not this month, be able to be like 
have finalized thoughts on all of them, but at least get to know them a little bit better in this coming month. All right, so that's gonna be everything that I'm pulling in for my next rotation. I just kind of gathered everything together. I hope you can see here. This is everything that's in my next rotation. There is quite a lot of products. And then I did leave these out because these are just things I'm trying to finish off and they're gonna be done within like a week or so. I'm not really putting them to the test. But the rest of these I'm gonna play around with, kind of try to play with together and with products in my project pans as well. And I'm really looking forward to getting to know all these products a little bit better and play around with them and just get a feel for them and enjoy my collection to the fullest. I honestly love doing this because it makes me not at all interested in purchasing and more products. Like literally no interest in buying anything new. Of course I do have a few new products in my collection, thankfully through PR, but even still to be able to test them all, I do feel a little bit overwhelmed by because I have so much to play around with already and I'm really excited to use all these. So yes, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I feel so weird just saying goodbye like this, but yeah, that's everything for today. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone. <laughs>